Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is your Srinivas Kalwar. So, in last session, hope you guys understood about propellers and how to choose a frame and all. So, in this session, let us start with motor. So, the propeller which sits on the motor. So, we need to know the motor and uh, how it works and uh, what are the ratings written on that and uh, what, what, what should be the, your uh, motor and depending upon frame. So, and your total uh, weight of the uh, drone depending upon that motor will be chosen. So, let us start with the motor. So, this is the physical motor which I am showing. This is the physical motor. So, which has uh, three wires because it, it has a three uh, uh, phase there. So, it is a three phase motor. So, this is the physical motor of drone. And let us start with how, how it look like actually inside this motor so this motor inside the what whatever windings magnet so that I am showing here so you can see the mo motor right so here this is the stator okay this is the stator winding uh, which has the windings there okay uh, which rotates inside which rotates inside so and this is a shaft okay shaft which you can see here this shaft so this shaft okay and then so which has a uh, windings in that and which has magnets inside this frame you can see this frame right this frame has a magnets so how it works actually so we have a motor which has a magnet so when we give a current to the windings okay then magnetic field will be generated so depending upon which pole it is uh, there for the starting position it start rotating in that direction so if we consider because we have three uh, wires right here uh, two wires will be depending upon on which uh, either you want to run clockwise or anti-clockwise so that I will explain when I am uh, making a building the a drone that time I will explain you how to check that whether how to run it in clockwise and anti-clockwise so this is the basic structure of uh, motor what I explained now so this shaft this total winding with shaft will rotate when we assign when we give a current to the windings so this will start rotating so this is the basic structure of motor so I showed you the physical motor right so this is a physical motor so in this we have can see here there is a rating right so there is a rating which says 22 12 slash 13 t right so what is that meaning actually so it means 22 is a millimeter of your diameter the diameter of this motor is 22 millimeter and 12 is the millimeter of your height with the shaft so the height of this motor is 12 meter millimeter and 13 t okay this refers to turns how for the windings i said right so for each uh, winding how many turns it is rotated it is twisted so how many turns are done to the mo motor winding so that is uh, turn here it showed 13 turns okay uh, then there is one more uh, term called 1000 kv so 1000 kv uh, is when we assign 1 volt to the motor it rotates 1000 rpm in a sense rotation per minute is 1000 so 1000 time it rotates so that is for 1 volt uh, for example if you have 11.1 uh, volt battery which is maximum charge uh, current capacity voltage capacity is 12.6 so if you consider 12 volts also when you give 12 volts to this one okay 12,000 rpm it will become or if you give 10 volts then 10,000 rpm it rotates so that is a term of 1000 kV here 2212 you got it and 13 okay so when we say 13 turns right so depending upon these turns okay it, it, the motor can be decided so as I said there is a ratings 
written on the motor i showed you guys what is the readings written on the motor we'll jump into the data sheet of motor what it is and uh, what are the things we need to look at so here i already said it's a kv is 1000 kv is 1000 and so the number of cells to be used also it is written here 2 to 3 cells of uh, lithium polymer battery and uh, you can use uh, ni uh, uh, battery also so then 1000 kV is done and the max uh, efficiency current is around 4 to 10 amps okay then so we'll uh, jump into uh, you can see the data sheet in uh, online in the google you can go through that so directly we'll jump into the uh, motor which create the thrust right so here it is written of it can carry one motor can carry of weight 300 to 800 grams so when it says 300 to 800 grams so you can take average of 500 grams okay we will not go to the max or min so 500 grams is the average what it can lift one motor can lift so for the quadcopter if your quadcopter the payload is of 1 kg to lift that quadcopter you need 2 kg of thrust right so if one motor creates a thrust of 500 grams okay four motor combinedly create the thrust of 2 kgs right each because we have four motors one motor 500 grams it's a 2 kg so easily your quadcopter will be fly okay it will fly so that is the rating which you have to see in the data sheet whenever you are considering which type of motor you want to use so the same thing they are already written here which type of propeller you have to use also so there is 10.5 okay 10 is the length of the propeller and 0.5 is pitch of the propeller what i explained right so 4.5 is also fine okay but this should be the specification of your motor okay so this is the motor uh, kind of things and i wanted to explain one more thing here very important thing which actually uh, motor has so that is uh, when uh, your turns what i said right this motor turns 13 t what it is showing here okay in this motor this is 1000 kv motor so 13 turns when we say 13 turns if it is less number of turns then your speed will be high but the problem is thrust creating factor will be less right so same thing whenever your uh, turns are more okay turns are more then speed will be less speed will be less if speed will be less torque will be more right then if it is torque will be more then it can lift more weight okay this is also one condition you can, you have to check when you are selecting the motor so i'll just summarize what i said previously now so your motor when you are deciding right so you have to keep a uh, look of this individual motor how much weight it can uh, pick up that is one thing and battery which you are using that you have to look at and so your torque and speed capacity if you are using for racing drones then your turn can be uh, less then speed will be increased torque you uh, will not consider because you are not lifting any uh, weight there so whenever you are going for any agriculture base where you want to lift the tanks uh, for spraying tanks all those things then you should consider your uh, torque also torque in the sense weight lifting capacity so this is all about i had uh, motors okay so keep uh, watching my videos and get the information so don't play with the motors and propeller connecting it to it, it. Uh, so it will be hazardous to you it will make a um, problem to you so please subscribe watch my channel like share comment thanks for watching